Boogie2988 is a pretty big creator here on the YouTube platform, and today he had a series of tweets that were pretty concerning and we need to talk about it. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take different topics from the YouTube community or pop culture and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yeah, I will be talking about some tweets that Boogie sent out. So make sure you're following me over on Twitter, at The Rewired Soul. Um, I post different updates. I do a lot more than just what I do here on this YouTube channel. Um, we're going to be talking about depression and some other sensitive subjects. So I actually just put up a blog post over on my website. I'll link it down below. But yeah, I let everybody know about that stuff over on Twitter. But yeah, we are going to be talking about some sensitive subjects. So a little warning to anybody out there if you're going through a difficult time. Just make sure you check out the description down below. Um, aside from my blog post about depression, I'm going to put some resources down below. All right, so yeah, anyways, uh, those of you who don't know Boogie2988, uh, he has about 4.5 million subscribers. Um, he's gained a lot of popularity from his alter ego character, Francis. He does a lot of videos about like video games and things like that. And yeah, he also is very, very open about his mental health. So, so you know too, the goal of this video too, like Boogie, if you ever see this, like, I hope the best for you, man. I'm glad that you are able to open up and be vulnerable and talk about these things and increase some awareness. But the goal of this video is for the audience, all right? There's some things that I see, and as always, I wanna see what we can learn from because I'm somebody who has struggled with depression for most of my life as well, and this is something that I think we need to address. Because on Twitter, here's the series of tweets that he sent out. Okay, rant time. You may not know this, but a huge part of the internet hates me now. They think I'm or a, or a wife beater, an abuser, a child monster, or even worse. Obviously, none of this is true. If it were, I would kill myself. I wouldn't live that way. Ironically, all this negativity makes me horribly suicidal. I struggle with it daily. I hate it. The idea that so many people think I'm even capable of these things makes me wish I wasn't alive. Those things are truly the opposite of who and what I am. At E3, though, many, many people have shown how much they love me. Game devs, gamers, Journalists, fans, friends, comedians, literally over 100 people. You might say they haven't heard the rumors though, and yeah, maybe some haven't, that is fair. But many have said, do not let the internet grind you down. They have said they are smart enough to not believe the BS. They have looked through the quote unquote evidence and saw through it as the BS if it is, and they tell me so. It's for these people I stay here and keep fighting. Among these people have been journalists like Steven Totillo, fans like you, game devs at Cyberpunk and Borderlands and elsewhere, plus many, many more. While many people will drink the Kool-Aid and believe the lies, it is clear many of you will not, so I will fight for us. If my anxiety and pain ever wins and I do harm myself, which I promise you I will not, they will try to say it is an omission of guilt. No, it is purely my mental illness winning, nothing more. Their vitriol and ignorance will not have mattered one way or the other. So yeah, when we, when we look at this, like, this is concerning, all right? This is extremely, extremely concerning. So if I saw a friend who posted about this, like, I would be massively worried. I've talked about this in the past about wellness checks, and hopefully Boogie's friends and family members, like, when they see this stuff, like, they check in on him. I believe Boogie has a roommate, but right now he's traveling. He's in an, uh, LA at E3. But like, if you see a friend or family member posting this stuff, like, do not be afraid to call in a wellness check. If somebody seems like they're going to be a, a danger to themselves or others, call the local authorities and let them know. All a wellness check is, they go by, they go over to the house, they check in and say, yo, what's going on? And they will help that person get help if they need. Now, this doesn't always play out the way that it should. Sometimes the, the, the EMTs or the cops or whoever it is go over there and the person's like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm fine. But sometimes it will save a life, all right? So when Boogie tweeted this out, another creator by the name of Chris Raygun replied and said, my guy, I like you, I really do. But we've all had our share of BS. Twitter isn't a therapist. You can't keep treating it like it is. So here's the thing. So Boogie ended up replying to him and said, 
he was he was sharing this as a way to inspire and motivate others. And and when I saw that, it's like for me personally, it's like this yes and no. So as somebody who is trying to increase mental health awareness, and I want more people to talk about this, like there's nothing to be ashamed of when talking about this. But we also have to be mindful. Like I always say, like, and it's something that I learned. Right? We have to check our motives. We have to check our motives. So when I see somebody posting these things, not just Boogie, all right, but like friends and everything like that, like on Facebook or on Twitter or on Instagram, I'm like, what is the goal? What is the motivation behind this? All right, now, Boogie says his intention is to give people strength and courage to keep moving forward, right? But sometimes it is a cry for help as well now um on one hand like when i see chris Reagan saying this like if you follow boogie 2988 on twitter this is something that he's consistently doing so me personally like i think it's important that we share our stories like i always say this if you've been through any struggle in your life just know that your story has power to help somebody out right like I, I get it, I can look at Boogie's tweets and say, you know what, cool, you're still moving forward. You're depressed, you're suicidal, you're still moving forward, all right? But at the same time, it is very concerning. Now, somebody like Boogie2988, I don't know the guy at all, but he says he's in therapy, he has stated that he's on antidepressants and that's gonna be the next tweet that we talk about. But still at the same time, we have to be there for our friends and family members when they're struggling, okay? But I am proud of Boogie for actively getting help, okay? Something that is an issue with some people is chronic suicidality. Now, when I see things like this, because trust me, I get it, as a YouTube creator, and I am a, a fraction, a fraction of the size that Boogie2988 is, like sometimes I look at this and I'm just like, okay, should people struggling this much be on the platform is it helping them or is it hurting them because after boogie's tweets he also made a video and it's impacting him greatly all right so on one hand it's absolutely destroying his mental health but at the same time when he talks about the support he gets and everything like that it's also helping his mental health so it's one of those those tricky things, right? So me as a creator, I have to learn to tune that stuff out, right? Like the bigger you get, the more people are gonna talk, the more people are gonna throw labels on you and everything like that. And even you watching this, like you don't need to be a YouTube creator to deal with this. Like I always think about how teenagers right now have to deal with so much more than I ever could have imagined when I was a teenager, right? Like people calling you names and everything like that and thinking things about you that you're not. Like this can happen when you're a high school student just because of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all these other things, you know? But I do agree with what Chris Reagan said, like YouTube is not a therapist. Twitter is not a therapist, okay? A therapist is a therapist. Like it is therapeutic and I think I, I might make a whole video on that at some time. Like it is therapeutic to talk through things for some of us on camera or writing about it or whatever it is, but it is not therapy. There is a difference between something being therapeutic and something being therapy. Okay, you know why? Because a therapist is a licensed professional who knows how to help you. But sometimes I see people like on Twitter or Facebook trying to get just random advice from their followers. I'm like, you don't know who the hell these people are. They might give you the the worst advice on earth, right? So the last thing I want to discuss is this tweet right here. And he basically says like, today's mental breakdown was brought to you by mixing uh, antidepressants with alcohol. And that's when I'm like, oh God, Boogie, Jesus, right? And that's, that's one of the reasons I'm making this video because that's the issue that I personally have, right? Because something that I'm always thinking about is you have one creator and then you have the audience, okay? So I'm always looking at what we creators are putting out there and how the audience is interpreting that. So what people in the audience today saw was a series of tweets talking about depression, suicide, self-harm, all these other things. They saw a video about it and then they see mixing alcohol with antidepressants, all right? And that is a very, very dangerous thing. Like something that I was taught a long, long time ago is when I share, when I speak, all right, I focus on three things, experience, strength, and hope, all right? I don't just hop on here and tell you all the bad 
with no good. I talked to you about how difficult it is, or it was, right? How I got through it, right? And where I'm at now, okay? That is how I was taught to share these things. And that way, we're not only focusing on the problem, but we're discussing the solution as well. So, if you have been tuned into this whole thing, like, just make sure that you're getting help. If you can relate to this, like get help, help is available, all right? Rely on your support group, your friends, your family members, all right? If you do not have friends and family members who are there to support you, like we're in 2019, you can f connect with people all over the world who understand exactly what you're going through, all right? And here's the other thing too, like get help, get professional help. Like when I see Boogie talking about this, like, just in my personal opinion, if this was a friend of mine, like I would highly recommend inpatient treatment, okay? And that's just me. If I had a friend who was constantly talking about suicide and how their job, their career is just destroying their mental health, I would highly recommend inpatient treatment. Just time to shut out the rest of the world and 1000% focus on your mental health. Like those of you who know me, I was working at an inpatient drug and alcohol rehab and it is so, so, so beneficial. So even if you're not struggling with drugs or alcohol, there is inpatient for your mental health, all right? It keeps you in a safe place and it's one of the only times you will ever get in your life where you get to focus on yourself, all right? But if you are not at that place, if it is not that severe, I highly recommend seeking therapy, okay? You could do this by talking to your doctor, seeing if they can recommend a therapist. If you are fortunate enough to have insurance, talk to your insurance company, see what therapists are in your network. I currently use BetterHelp Online Therapy. I absolutely love therapy, my therapist. I just had a session with her the other day. And if you wanna check out BetterHelp Online Therapy, it is linked down in the description below. It's an affiliate link, so basically you get affordable online therapy. A little bit comes back to support the channel as well. But no matter what you do, I will say this until the day I die. I do not care how you get help, just get help, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support what I'm doing here, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.